Hey there football fans! Welcome back to Football News Center, your go-to channel for all the latest updates in the world of football. Today, we're diving into the topic of Cole Palmer and whether he deserved more minutes at Manchester City. Recently, Palmer received his first England call-up after leaving City to join Chelsea. Since joining Chelsea, he has become an integral part of the first team under the guidance of Mauricio Pochettino. But the question remains, would Palmer have showcased his skills if he had been given more playing time at Etihad Stadium? According to former City midfielder Michael Brown, the 21-year-old definitely had the potential to shine if given more opportunities. However, considering the tough competition he faced from players like Jack Grealish, Phil Foden, and Jeremy Doku, his decision to move to Chelsea seems justified. It's no secret that Manchester City boasts an incredibly talented squad, with players who have already established themselves as key figures in the team. The likes of Grealish, Foden, and Doku have proven their worth on the pitch, making it difficult for Palmer to break into the starting lineup. But let's not forget, Palmer's move to Chelsea has proven to be a smart one. Under the management of Pochettino, he has flourished and become an important player for the Blues. This has even earned him his first call-up to the England national team, a remarkable achievement for such a young player. In the end, it's all about finding the right fit and the right opportunities. While Palmer may not have received the minutes he desired at Manchester City, his move to Chelsea has allowed him to showcase his talents and earn recognition on a national level. So, what do you think, football fans? Did Palmer deserve more minutes at Manchester City? Or was his decision to join Chelsea the right move for his career? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to tune in to the Football News Show on BBC iPlayer for more in-depth analysis and discussions on all things football. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Football News Center.